Today I'm going to give you a quick overview of a product we make for American Changers. Um, at some point we've kind of had a hard time getting replacement parts, so we came up with something that has a lot of nice unique features that's ideal for service techs. Um, basically what we've done is we have a little adapter board here, and we have this larger version. This version is not quite as popular. Um, this version would be made, this is an old style power supply board made by American Changers. Um, it, you would have four screws that would connect to your upper control board. So basically these were just, you know, not that reliable. So basically what we do with this board, we just are going to take these four screws off the original power supply, connect them here, and then this attaches to the universal board. Uh, basically when you're using this, you also have to keep in mind that you have an on-off switch. So if this is not turned on to the right, your board is not going to come on. Um, but basically what we're doing, we just have essentially a very universal type power supply. And the reason we like doing this, in the event that this was to fail, this is almost like something you could buy at Start, Target or Staples or, or a good electronics store. It's a very universal power supply. Um, it has this same IEC style connector. So what basically what you've seen, um, in some cases, this is the same type, type connector as on the early legacy American Changer boards. So in some cases, what we've done, we'll supply this board with this connector. Basically, we have it on a panel like this. So as you can see now, this is plugged in. So if you were to take out your older board, like we like giving this power supply, um, we kind of like it because here you can see it's giving you an indication. This is going to come on and show you the voltage. So basically we have 24 volts today, which is perfect, but you know, between 23 and 25 would be perfect. So if you're just not a technician and you're not used to using a, a voltmeter, basically you can see that, you know, you could verify that you have 24 volts coming into your board and that's going to power it. Um, basically, you know, going forward, if, if you have, you know, different boards, like this is wonderful for a service tech to keep, you know, kind of keep this brick and a couple of these in their service van, but installation would be simple. So for instance, here's their the, uh, two validator uh, board, universal version board. So basically if your power supply was to fail, you simply are going to disconnect this. I mean, we recommend taking out the old power supply just because you no longer need it. This new board basically just snaps into place here. And with your new power supply, it's going to have the barrel connector plugs in here. And I'll get my hands out of the way. So that plugs in. We're going to provide you with a tie strap to secure that. Um, in the case of this board, we're also going to give you a new power cord because the way American Changers made these, uh, they connect direct to the switching power supply. So sometimes when we supply this, or just to pay attention when you order this kit, you, you get the power brick, you get the small board, we get the long board. Um, and in some cases, like this is just a standard type power cord. So when you're going here again, like the beautiful thing about this is that type of power cord is just available like commonly at Staples, Office Depot, any good electronics store for the power cord. Or if this thing was to fail in five or 10 years, um, it would be good. Um, this one is plugged in, it has a power indicator here. So it makes it much easier for you to see and know that you're getting power to your board when you're troubleshooting or just when you're updating a machine. It just makes it very nice and easy to see what's going on.